Another way to classify disaster is based on the speed of onset. Some disasters are rapidly, just quick. Some disasters are slow. The rapid or slow, we have, for example, we have floods. There are some floods which happen without warning. The rains just rain on the mountains, but at the at the at the lowland, the flood happens. That is rapid. You don't uh, you don't have rain, but we have flood. That is a rapid onset. We have wind. We have tsunami. We have avalanches. All these are rapid onset. But we have slow onset disasters. These are like hunger. When there is a hunger, you experience some series of happening of condition which later people are now cannot harvest enough. So these disasters can be classified in terms as the speed of onset as rapid onset or slow onset. Typical example of slow onset is like a drought and desertification. Because people have to cut trees. When you cut trees, the consequence is a drought and famine. As I have displayed later on, it cannot come overnight. There should be a series of episodes or conditions which please deforestation. People cut trees. Maybe for, 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 for charcoal. Maybe in African setup for charcoal. Some maybe for selling timber. Maybe for, for the reasons they know themselves. So we know for sure if you cut trees, the consequence, the impact will be the deforestation. Another is pest and plant diseases. You can't have, when you see the, the pest, they just cannot just come overnight. There should be a life cycle. The pubert, the what, the maybe the butterfly, etc., etc. Then that cycle is there for some a period of time which warn you that there is something which is coming. That is slow onset disaster. When you come to natural disaster but rapid onset, the floods is the example. Windstorm, wildfire, hailstorm. That is a climatical. All these are climatical. But when we come to geological, we have earthquakes. Ah, earthquake has been in, my, in our country. The area like Kilimanjaro, Arusha, Morogoro. Tsunami is not very common, but we have experienced a, a, a huge tsunami uh, some, some years back. Volcanic, we have a volcanic eruption in uh, Oldonjo Lengai here. But globally, is, there is some spots where we can find it. Landslides. We have landslide in Same, which claims almost the whole uh, sub village in Same. We have landslide in Bududa, uh, in Uganda. We have landslide. There is, this is a geological but the rapid onset. When you come to the technological disasters, as I have said earlier, this is the result of either conflict and war. And this conflict and war lead to refugee or internal displacement. People run out of their normal places, run out of their, of their livelihood. And this causes what is called or terms complex emergencies. Uh, that is one example. The other is a structural failure. We have seen big houses uh, collapsing, building collapsing. We have seen sinking of major vessels like uh, MV Bukoba, MV Icelander, MV, there are so many in, 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 in Kilomero as well. We have also experienced train crash along the railway in Tanzania. So all these are technological disasters. Technological disasters also include military accidents. We have experienced two episodes, Mbagala bomb blast. We have experienced also Bongolamboto bomb blast. This is an experience of, of military accidents. And there are so many all over the world. And some has caused a lot of problems. Fire disasters. We have experienced fire in most of our ministries. 
These are caused by either technological or someone. We have experienced fire in some of the factories which put down the economy of a country. Terrorism. We have experienced the bombing of our embassy, of U.S. embassy in Tanzania and Nairobi. We have experienced also uh, the terrorism and the uh, industrial incidents is also a common technological disasters one expect all these disasters contribute to loss of economy loss of environment loss of people in such a situation that the community affected cannot cope using their own resources so i'm quite sure you can name uh, disasters recently happened in your region in your district and I'm quite sure you all can jot down what, will ha what has happened in recently. And also, you can, you can Google or go to literatures. And you can also document what has happened in globally related to technological disasters. As I have said earlier about the hybrid disasters, in some situation, it is difficult to classify a disaster on the basis of whether it is a natural or technological. And I can give you an example. I understand that our previous president declared HIV as a, a disaster to our country, Tanzania. Why do this fall? Is this a natural HIV? Is it HIV technological? No. Most epidemics follow under the hybrid disasters. Why are we, as a public health specialist, discussing this issue of disasters? Because the public health consequences of disasters involve what? In a country, if you lose one in other countries, they declare, in Israel, if you lose three people, they have to form a committee. Why have we lost this population? Three. I don't know how many do we lose in Tanzania so that to declare it is a disaster. We have seen a bus, Mohammed Trans. How many died there? We have seen Shabaha. How many died during that? We have seen MV Bukoba. How many died over there? Did we declare disasters? So it depends. In developing countries, it depends. But there are countries, like in Japan, they have specified exactly that either six, when they lose six at a time, it is a disaster. What should we do so that it, never, it will not happen again? We have a lot of injuries which is happening. Is a public health disaster. You have to incur a lot of treatment. Loss of clean water, loss of shelters. We have seen loss of personal household goods, loss of major population movement. People are not allowed to move either because of, of the epidemics, because of that circumstances. Sometimes the loss of sanitation. People don't have anywhere to, to relieve. Eh? People, loss of, uh, of routine hygiene. You cannot have water to wash your, your hands. You cannot have water to, to cleanse yourself, not only to drink. Sometimes disruption of solid waste management. All these are public health. Public concern for safety. There is also issue of panic. People do panic. You can have example of when we have a Rift Valley fever. They say that if you eat meat, you will have this problem. Look of those who have invested in food animal, the butchers. Those are selling meat. Those are selling animals. How much have they have invested in the laws? People does not know what to do. Huh? Increase of pests and vectors is a public health. Damage to healthcare system is also a public health. Worsening of chronic illnesses 
is a public health. Loss of electricity is a public health. Toxic or hazard, hazardous exposure is a public health. Loss of food supply is a public health. Standing water surfaces being disrupted is a public health. So, studying disasters by being a public health specialist is a fundamental, is very important for your career.